for the guys that have been uh, following me for a while, you might know that I've been quite uh, obsessed with uh, dry aging. Uh, dry aging for, I don't know, a couple of years, three years now. I tried uh, a couple of different uh, dry agers. And today I'm going to give you a review of a 50 liter dry aging cabinet. So this cabinet is from uh, Rashin Global. It's a Chinese company that make uh, wine fridges, cigar humidors, uh, dry aging cabinets. They are a company that uh, goes back to 2004. They have just recently released their dry aging series. I will uh, show you some pros, some cons, see how, how the stuff works. So let's have a look. So the price of the cabinet is uh, around $1300, which is uh, pretty cheap for a uh, dry aging cabinet. So who is this uh, dry ager for? I think it's for people that uh, just started with uh, dry aging and they want to take the next step going from dry aging bags to a real unit. So let's go through the pros first. First of all, the humidity is uh, very stable. It's uh, quite high. You can easily go above 80% humidity in average. It comes with a lot of accessories like uh, meat hanging hooks, racks, drip trays. Easy to operate. It's a plug and play. You put the power cord in, you set the temperature. You set the humidity. Customer service is uh, friendly and very helpful. Forgot to take a picture or a videotape the um, packaging it came in when it arrived from shipping. But it was pretty solid, it was in a wooden crate, which I actually had to spend uh, quite some time to uh, disassemble. The results is very good, you get good dry edge quality meat. And you have your cons. Have to be one negative thing is that it's quite noisy, makes a lot of sound. So I don't think it's suitable to have in your kitchen. I've been having it in the kitchen for some time, and it's a little bit annoying. The reason for the noise is mostly because of the fans. A good dry aging cabinet needs good air circulation, and hence you need fans. Hopefully they will adjust this uh, later to make it a bit more quiet. The unit is a little bit small. Kind of wish it was a couple of uh, liters more, like 20 or so. Then you have the lights. You can put lights on in there, but it, after 10 minutes or so it turns off. I have not found an option to make it stay on. So the big question is, do I recommend this unit? Yes, I do recommend this unit. It uh, actually works uh, really good. So if you like this uh, short review of this uh, dry ager, I would uh, love it if you brought a comment down below. So uh, maybe I will make some more uh, reviews in the future. Take care.